Hello, my name is Sarah Foss and this is my colleague Lucas Breeler. We're here to talk to you about the eclipse that's happening Monday, the 21st of August. It's going to start around 11.35 a.m., which is near the end of our lunch, but it'll, you'll be able to see it the most at 12.35 here in Guatemala City. We're not here to tell you when the optimal time to see it is, that's up to your teachers, but we're here to tell you about what you need to know in order to see it safely. You probably know that looking directly into the sun is bad for you. Common sense says it'll be less detrimental for your eyes because the moon is covering the sun. But this is wrong. In fact, it's the other way around. Looking directly at a solar eclipse is worse. Because when it's dark out, our pupils will dilate and let more light in so we can see better. But the problem is that our pupils will be wide open, therefore when light reappears, the light will flood our eyes. In Guatemala, we'll never experience a total solar eclipse. The sun will always be visible sending electromagnetic emissions directly into our eyes. For this reason, you should never look at the sun. Sunglasses are meant to be looking at our surroundings, which is the light that bounces off surfaces and into our eyes. But our eyes only have a field of view of 150 degrees, so we can only see 37% of the full 360 at any one time. Almost all light outside is originally from the sun, bouncing off of objects. So when we look at the sun, all of a sudden we're receiving close to three times more light into our eyes. If you look for an extended period of time, your retinas could be fried and you'll have spots in your eyes for an average of three to six months afterwards. Some people can go blind. Sunglasses will not work for looking at the eclipse. So I think that we proved our point that staring at the solar eclipse is bad for you. But here's a way that you could view it if you want to. So now that you have your two index cards, the first step is poking a small hole, preferably with a pen so you can make a circle shape, into the index cards. Then hold the papers like so. And now you can safely view the eclipse. The reason this works is because it's mimicking how your eyes work. The light goes through the hole in the paper above, <clears throat> and as it goes through, it reverses and comes out backwards on the other side. This means that you're going to be able to see the shape that the sun is in the inverse. I am Mr. Moss and I approve this message. Alright, now that you know this, you can safely enjoy watching the sun. Bye-bye!